This video is going to be a little bit different to what I normally do and quite a bit shorter I assume. But I wanted to show you, well actually I told you in the last video that uh, this one is going to be a yarn haul. And this is the first time that I'm uh, doing a yarn haul, but I because I bought a lot of uh, a lot of uh, things, a lot of yarn, just for one particular company, I thought I might dedicate a video just uh, just for that yarn. And I want to say from the very beginning, this is not sponsored. The company is not aware of me. The company is Stylecraft. The company is not aware of me. I bought everything with my own money. But because I'm happy with the yarn and everything is from the same brand, I wanted to make this video just to kind of show you what I got and what I'm planning to make. The way that uh, I came across this yarn, I never tried them before, I don't believe I have, is last year, sometime last year, I bought two skeins of this humongous 400 gram skeins. They're like this of uh, this uh, Stylecraft special iron wool, with uh, wool and I got them in uh, this kind of uh, white nap color and oatmeal nap color I don't know if those are the proper colorways but this is not this is 77% um, uh, premium acrylic 20% wool and 3% viscose I'll check if the other ones that I got are the same so last year I got uh, two of these and the first thing that I made from one of them but only just a fraction of one of them is uh, Saturday Shrug for my niece and Saturday Shrug you're probably aware of it it's a pattern, it's a free pattern by my friend Jackie Rose and it's a very simple one by one rib tube basically however something happens when you put it on and the effect that it has it's just stunning it it's very versatile and it looks very elegant as well but it's perfect accessory so i made for my niece and ever since i made quite a few for myself as well but i was happy with this yarn how it worked with uh, saturday shrug so then I made another one for myself, which I showed you a few videos ago from the leftover yarn from the one that I made for my niece. And it's uh, from this bowl. I think from this bowl, I would be able to get maybe like three, three shrugs. No, you can make, you can knit anything with it. It's iron weight. I didn't tell you how many. This is in 400 grams. This is 816 meters, which is 892 yards. So I suppose you could make anything. This would be enough as a sweater's quantity for most of the people, I assume, as well. And also, I checked the yardage for, uh, for another pattern um, of another friend of mine, Amy Palco, which is the Korean poncho. And I believe that this, this one ball, is enough uh, to make uh, that, uh, that poncho. So that's an idea as well. So from this one, um, but in this oatmeal color, I made for my niece a shrug, and I made the shrug that I showed you a couple of videos ago when I went out uh, for my dad's birthday. It opened a bit on the bottom, obviously, because how it stretched. I'll show it to you again, I'll try it on. So it's a one by one tube as you can see, however, it's something that is a permanent part of my wardrobe, whether it's in the summer that I just take it with me, that I can wear it like this in the evening in case I get cold, or uh, just an, as, a, as an accessory over a beautiful dress, or in the winter, it's just very very versatile and elegant I love I mean I'm not advertising this pattern but most of you are probably aware of it I'm just showing you that uh, I made this in this yarn and I was actually really happy I was happy because this yarn from what I have seen so far it ha it's not completely wool so it's high acrylic content but it's not scratchy it feels soft and what I like about it is that it bounces back into shape. 
it's kind of, it's not elastic, I can't say that, but it does keep its structure. And I like the idea that uh, it actually has acrylic content because then I don't have to worry about it and I can just put it in the washing machine uh, without problem. And so I made that one and I still have some leftover yarn from that large, uh, large skein that I made for my niece, the shrug, and I made this one for myself. So I'll see what I'm gonna do with uh, that one. And I had another one of this Aran weight, uh, which is uh, this white, white uh, with nips. So what I did with this one, I made a crocheted a baby blanket and I used up the whole ball of this yarn. I used up 400 grams of it. And this is going to go to UK. That's why I also wanted to record this video now because I need to send this to UK. And also I really wanted to start playing with the yarn but I didn't want to start knitting until, until I show you the actual things that I bought. So now this is just kind of the things that I, that I made before from it, from those initial two skeins. So those two shrugs and from the other ball I made uh, this baby blanket. What I think uh, I should have done, because it's a uh, half double crochet, I think that's, uh, that's the term, but I think that's the American term. This is the stitch that I did. So, this is the width. Now what I could have done is chained a bit shorter and then have it a bit longer but the good thing is that if, you, if I have it this way, if I have it this way, then it is that shape, rectangular shape. But you could play with it and this is a perfect size for a posture, for a pram I think. So for this blanket, the whole 400 grams of the yarn went. And it's, it's beautiful, I love the, the naps, I love the, the effect of it, and uh, I love the feel of it, and the fact that it's easy care. So, okay, what did I buy this time? Because I had good experience with this yarn, and I only, I only got it by chance last year, I was, uh, I was browsing the website and I got it by chance, I decided to order some more. And they do have uh, in DK weight as well. So I thought, let me try some DK weight. And the idea is to make shrugs in them. From this one, the one that I got in Aaron, I got just another one ball of this large one. I have to see what I'm gonna do. Do I make uh, like a jumper, like more like a sweatshirt kind of thing that I don't have to really worry about and wear around the house without, um, you know, just as a sweatshirt? or maybe do I make a Korean poncho in it? But I think that for Korean poncho, I might want another color, a different color, more neutral one. So I got one of these large ones, which I love the color. It's, I don't know whether it says here the color. No, the, yeah, Atlantic blue nip. I'm gonna have to put uh, glasses for this back, even though this ball is massive. So this is shade 3391, Atlantic Blue Nip. And this is the only large one that I got this time. I wanted to try the DK ones which come in smaller balls. Okay, where do we start? So let's start with the blue one again, which is uh, similar to this one. I have a few blue ones bluish ones. So this is the Life DK by Starcraft, Stylecraft and I think it's the same composition. 72% premium acrylic, 25% wool and 3% visc viscous. This is, is it 100 grams? Yeah, this is 100 grams and uh, 298 meters. I don't know the prices on top of my head of these. However, I found it to be very affordable. I remember that this one was less than 15 euro, one five. 
So for about 15 euro, I could make a jumper, a poncho, or even a three, uh, three shrugs or something like that. Very affordable and happy with the quality. So for these ones, I'm not sure uh, what the price is. I didn't check lately. I, I ordered it uh, a month or so ago, but I was waiting to make it. I will link all of them. And also I saw some other ones that I would like to buy, but they didn't have them in stock. So I'm going to link those as suggestions. For the for the DK ones, I ordered out two bowls of each because I believe since from the big one I can make like three three shrugs. I want I ordered two bowls of each for the DK, so I can try to make a shrug with uh, with each color. And either I'm going to keep those for myself or I'm going to keep them as gifts because I'm very happy with. Uh, I keep on saying I'm happy with the yarn, but I think it's a perfect yarn to make gifts because the the whoever you are making it for they they still have they still get the wool, but they don't really have to worry about the maintenance. So I think the two of the DK are going to give me uh, enough yarn to make the shrug. So this one is denim nep shade two three six eight. Then the other bluish one, I really like this one. This is uh, Duck Egg Nep, shade 2298. As I said, I will link all of them. And then another bluish one is Teal Nep. Shade 2299. And then we have moving more to the neutrals. Let's do the green. I like this green. I actually liked it more when I received it than on the website. And this is the shade 2337 Gore Snap. And of course, I got my neutrals. We have the grey pebble nip, shade 2327. And the other two that I got is pretty much the same ones that I got in these large skeins the initial order that I made the first time I tried it but this time I'm getting it uh, in DK yarn this uh, label fell off but this one is natural nip shade 2325 and I think this is what gave me this uh, blanket and for the for this shrug that I made and the one for my niece, I think it's this one. But this is Aaron Weight, this is DK. And that is shade 2324 Stone Nep. So that's that for the uh, this. Uh, Life DK uh, or special iron with wool, but I did get another two balls just to try. This is called Stylecraft uh, Grace, and let me read you the. It's 85% premium acrylic, 10% mohair, and 5% wool. Now, it has. Uh, it says iron weight, approximately 295 meters per 100 grams. I thought a shrug striped because the other ones I got them to make them as single colors but I thought a striped uh, shrug in these two colors would be really pretty.
to the first touch, it does feel soft. But you know that when we have mohair content or anything like that, we don't really know until we make it and, uh, and try it on whether it's going to be itchy. However, that's why I believe, at least for me in this case, I'm making shrugs out, out of them because then even if it's a bit itchy, it's not really going to be a problem because we're not putting it necessarily directly on our skin unless I'm wearing it like this in the summer. But I really like how these two go together. And I'm planning to make them, just kind of make them and then see which ones I'm going to keep for myself and which ones I'm going to give as gifts. But the idea is that I believe that these were, not these, but I believe that these 50, uh, 100, sorry, 100 gram uh, balls, they were less than five euro a ball. So I think with two of them, I could uh, make a shrug, which means that basically a Christmas gift a beautiful Christmas gift in material would cost less than 10 euro. I know that this is not how we are looking at gifts because the time that we invest in them is much, much more than what the, the cost of the material is. However, my plan is because it's still early in the year, the way that I usually do is I start making gifts throughout the year and I just kind of keep them in one place like I did with this uh, baby blanket and uh, just have them ready whenever the time comes that I need to give it to re the recipient that I do. So that's the plan and that's why I ordered them now. I ordered pretty much all of the colors that uh, or most of them that I kind of that they were that were in stock just to see which ones I'm going to like but even these ones that are not necessarily my particular color, it's a bit stronger, I actually really like. And that pink and green. Maybe it's the muted aspect of them. I don't even know how short this, uh, this video is, but I just wanted to show you these. So everything is in one place, so I can actually title the, the video as a Stylecraft uh, Yarn Hole. As I said, I'm linking everything underneath and also some other suggestion. And I will show you, you know, when I start making with these, which now that I have shown you, I can already start playing with them and I can start making some shrugs. When I do that, I think Jackie has the numbers for the DK version as well for the shrug. I think it's called Friday Shrug, but it's really individual because uh, this is a one by one tube and uh, you, you can just work out your size. Just know the gauge and just work out your size. What I usually do, I kind of make it that it's a bit smaller than my shoulders, kind of where this, uh, this top ends here and then the bottom stretches. So you can really, really figure out your own size. You don't necessarily need a pattern for it, but do check, check, check it out. I'm going to link that as well, as well as Amy's uh, Korean poncho in case you want to try it in, um, in this ball of yarn. Or the, although, why wouldn't it stop you from making uh, that one in four balls of this? So this is 298 meters. And I think Korean poncho takes less than 800 meters. So even three balls of these would be enough for a Korean poncho. I will keep you posted on the, I will keep you updated on the, the things that I make, obviously in the future videos, but this is it now for the yarn haul and I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.